Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to check if a record exists, when inserting, data in your database, using HTML5 form validator. We created a form, containing several fields, using the Bootstrap 3 forms designer extension. We added client side validation to this form, but we want to make sure, that the email of the user, which we will be adding, through this form, does not exist in our database. Let's create a server action. We add a name for it. Now, click globals, and import the form variables. Open the page, containing your form. Then, select the form from the drop-down. And click the import button. You can see your form variables, imported with their validation rules, under the post variables list. Close the globals list. And add a database connection step. Select a database connection, from the list, or create a new one. Then, right click the database connection step and select Add Validate Data, from the Validator menu. Add a name, for this validation step. Then, click the Validate Options button. Here, add a new validation. You can change its default name, if you wish. Just double click the validation name, and edit it. Then, double-click the expression field and select the dynamic data button in order to set up the expression that we want to validate. We want to validate the email input value against our database. So expand the globals list and under post, select the email input variable. Click the select button. Then, we link the form field to this validation. Just enter the form field name here. Linking a field with the validate data step means that we tell the validator that the error messages related to this step should be displayed below the linked field. Our field name is user email. Click the add new validation rule button. Open the database menu. And as we want to make sure that the record doesn't exist in the database already, we select does not exist in database. Now, select your database connection. Then, select the database table, which you want to validate field value against. We want to check the user's table. And then select the column, containing the values, that you want to check. In our case, this is the email column. You can edit the default error message that will be shown if the record exists in the database. Click the Save button when you are done. Now, you can add your insert record step, which will be only executed if the validation step is passed. Set up your insert record step and create the server action executor. You already know how to set up these properly, from our previous tutorials, so we won't show this again. Let's preview the results. You can see, that the client side validation, goes just well, when all of the form fields are properly filled in. As soon as we click the submit button, and the server action runs, the validate data step checks the database for the email, entered in the email field. If such an email exists, the server action stops and an error message is displayed, below the field. The insert record step, won't run, until you fill an email, that doesn't exist in the database. That's how easy it is to validate a form field value, against database, using HTML5 form validator.